What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody had a great weekend. All right guys, the last video I did, which is about the moon, well the prior one about the lake, you know, a lot of people were like, wow, that is really a lake. Now, some people disagree and that's fine with me. Um, I actually went back and forth with some guy and uh, he was just adamant that I didn't know what I was talking about. But, um, you know, if you were to throw in everything, um, like example, Curiosity Rover has registered a, uh, 104 degrees Fahrenheit in the shade on Mars at one point. There is methane. It's been registered, and it gets and it gets that way more and more, big plumes of it, uh, when it's in the summer months, like we would get here. Why? Growth of trees, anything that's organic, so on and so forth, right? There's a water cycle on Mars. Uh, we have polar caps that come and go, and they're not just carbonized. They're actually H2O. And those actually disappear and they come back. Again, water cycle on Mars. You combine them all and you can almost bet your butt that yes, there's actually life on that planet. Maybe small in comparison to what we have here on Earth, but nonetheless, it's still life, right? All right, so now we find another picture uh, that also has water in it. Let me show you. Now, there was a sub that put this on, H.H. Huxley. Uh, they asked me a question, I answered them back. And they said, as long as I have you online here, could this be another lake with pipe draining into it? Also looks like more stuff under the dark background haze if it, it could be cleaned up. Maybe a future episode. And you're absolutely right. Now, they did send me this right here, this link. This is the link right here. And this is from Neville Thompson's Gigapan. I'm going to show you that in a second. But you see it's the MSL, and it's from 1301 to 1302 M34. Norcluft Plateau, PDS by Neville Thompson. Now, I'm not sure. I hope they can elaborate a little bit more because I'm seeing what looks like an, an outcropping of rock. And, of course, this area right here, there seems to be a little bit raised land or something right here. I'm not sure what to make of that. If you look, it looks like the sun's coming from the back of this rocky outcropping. See it? It's right here standing up, and then you got it right here. And if you notice the rocks in the foreground, not the clearest thing around, but nonetheless, you can see it almost looks like it's like a high noon, maybe a little after that, maybe 1, 2 o'clock, like on, here, uh, on Earth standards, right? And that's not uncommon. Let's suppose for a moment this photo right here, you could split it in half, well, because the, all of these photos are stitched together between these two days, this could be almost high noon. This over here could be later in the afternoon. And that's not uncommon. That's typical on a, uh, on a gigapan, right? So this is the pan it's from right here. Now, I want to show you guys something that's really odd. We're going to really get into this thing. This is, the, this is the area that they're speaking of way over here, right in this area. Now, we're going to go through this whole pan because there's a little bit of things in here that's going to make you scratch your head. You're going to go, there's no way. It's just all natural. That's all there is to it, right? I want to show you guys something that just jumped out at me right near the rover. Now, of course, this is laid out a little bit because you can see it's stretched out because this is an actual gigapan. Look at all the photos that have been stitched. See that? There's a bunch of these. And it's not, it, it might be like this photo right here might be from here down and then go over in the left corner. So you can bet there's a bunch of photos. So, again... Awesome work from my buddy uh, Neville Thompson. Thank you for that. Um, all right, so now let me show you something that was so obvious. I was like, what? Now two things come to my mind. Now this is almost like the moon uh, video where we're looking at a crashed spacecraft that was blended into the background or was it nothing more than a hillside with something on the hillside, right? Well, this is kind of the same thing. Are we looking at like a puddle of water or are we looking at a hole in the ground? Let's have a look. Right here, and you can see that. It's right there on the ground. Now, I'll tell you why I, I, this kind of blew my mind. Let's make this a whole screen here. Now, when I looked at this, this was kind of like when you look at the water, like we did on the last uh, lake video, which had it looked like it was kind of like on the shallow end, which is all around the edge, right? It was shallow, and then it got deeper. Well, this kind of looks the same way. You can see it right here. It looks like you can see the, the sand or the ground not far under it, and then it gets darker, like in this area here. See that? We get up real close. Now, let me back up, and I'm going to jump into Photoshop because I want to brighten this up for you and make it more natural colors, right? So let's jump out. Now let's jump into this. And I'm looking at this thing, and I'm just going, what? Now, this is the auto coloring from Photoshop. This is the way Photoshop sees this, and you can see it right there. And we'll have a look. See, it looks darker here on the edge, right here. And then it looks like it gets darker from here into this area. I don't know if you guys can see that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and brighten this up a little bit for you guys. Okay. And you can see right here, this is a lot better. Look, at this looks a little bit more 
natural as opposed to this. Got that baby puke color looking thing. And then we're going to just get rid of some of the shadows and take a look. What do you guys think? I'm seeing what looks like, like I said, a like small puddle. And it does seem to be a little bit more on the ground. It looks like it's deeper into the ground. And it looks like it's shallow here or not as deep. And then it seems like it gets deeper because it gets darker. Now, is that what it is? Hole in the ground or small puddle of water? You know, you guys, as always, give me your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Because to me, everybody should be looking at this. This is stuff that... You know, as small as it may be, it's there right in your face, right? And to me, it looks like water. Now, that's just my opinion. I'm not saying everybody else has to share that. All right, guys, let me jump on out of here. You know, there's so much to see. I'm going to show you guys in the next video as well um, that everything, every picture we've ever been shown about Mars has false coloring. There's actually, it looks a lot like Earth here. Now, a lot of people argue the point, well, you don't understand uh, I've got a uh, telescope, and it's all red. It's a red planet. You're right, but you're wrong. Let's suppose for a moment we could view Earth from, like, Mars' point of view, right? Um, let's suppose we had hardly any water on this planet. What would it look like? It would look like brown or reddish. Why? Because it would be a lot more rock, sand. So it would look like a dead, barren planet from a distance. But if you were to get up real close to it, you would start to see any place that had greens, uh, browns, blues, like there are lakes of water, so on and so forth. And that's what you're seeing from this distance, this vantage point from Earth all the way to Mars. It looks like it's an entirely red planet. But if you were to get a lot closer, like they are with the uh, MRO, the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, when you look at from that vantage point, you're literally over the planet orbiting it. Um, yeah, I mean, things look totally different. And I'm going to show you the, these photos coming up from everywhere from NASA's photos to India's, okay? So stay tuned for that as well. Anyway, guys, like, share, and most of all, comment down below. Thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you on the flip side.